Tonight, Donald Trump, the birther. On a day his campaign hoped he would put his attack on the president's heritage behind him, did he instead give oxygen to an issue that could dog him through the election? We will debate and also fact check the Donald's claims today. Hint, he lied. He lied a lot. Then the Bill Bratton uh, says goodbye to New York uh, Police Department yet again. We will take a look back on both his legacy and the challenges he leaves behind for New York's next top cop. And later, the debate over athletes protesting the national anthem. Should it be allowed when athletes aren't just representing a pro team, but instead representing their country? And should elected officials be protesting the anthem at all? Even everybody, welcome to RFL. I'm Richard French. Thank you so much for that. And we also have a lot more coming up in the next 60 minutes. But we begin with the Donald. And this was supposed to be the day that Mr. Trump put the whole birther issue and his questions about where, in fact, President Obama was born behind him. That certainly is what the campaign was hoping. But he may have just blundered his way into making the whole mess a whole lot worse. Trump. He had a media event at the opening of his new hotel in Washington, D.C. today. Hey, never miss an opportunity to plug a property. And the media tuned in for what they promised was specifically dealing with the birther issue. Word was he was going to make that long overdue statement about his claims that Obama was not born in the U.S. Well, that was supposed to start at 10. But 35 minutes later, after talking about what a great hotel property it was and bringing on military folks to tell him what a great military mind he had, this is all we ended up getting on the issue of a birthers. Now, not to mention her in the same breath, but Hillary Clinton <laughs> and her campaign of 2008 started the birther controversy. I finished it. I finished it. You know what I mean. <laughs> President Barack Obama was born in the United States, period. That was it. I didn't play a part of the clip or an end or meld it. That was the whole thing. 24 seconds. One problem, though. Other than saying that President Obama was born in the U.S., everything else that Trump said in that statement was a lie. Not my opinion, not some takes on it. Every single person who has covered the Donald, including PolitiFact, maintains that everything you just heard was a lie. First, the claim that Hillary Clinton began the birther movement, not true. Uh, and again, don't take my word for it. PolitiFact, Pulitzer uh, Prize-winning uh, fact-checker, said the following about that Trump claim. And as for Trump finishing the birther controversy, nonsense. Our source for this? None other than Donald Trump's own Twitter feed. All those tweets came from Trump after Obama released his birth certificate in April of 2011. Trump calls the birth certificate a fraud, a fake, he even throws in a conspiracy theory about how Hawaiian officials in the loop died in a plane crash. To many, including members of the Congressional Black Caucus, but hardly limited to just them, the entire birther issue was a way to delegitimize America's first black president to make him seem un-American, foreign, even Muslim, something quote-unquote different. And when you look back at Trump's birth certificate comments, including some that came after President Obama released those birth records, the drive to delegitimize, well, it comes through, and it comes through loud and clear. It's one of the greatest scams in the history of politics and in the history period. I have people that actually have been studying it and they cannot believe what they're finding. He doesn't want to be labeled as a birther, probably. I'm proud to be. You have to be born in the country. You are not allowed to be a president if you're not born in this country. There are no hospital records. He may have one, but there's something on that person. Maybe religion, maybe it says he's a Muslim. His own family doesn't know what hospital he was born in. There's no birth certificate. There's only a certificate of live birth, which is a totally different thing. He doesn't have a birth certificate, or he hasn't shown it. A lot of people do not think it was an authentic certificate. He may not have been born in this country. Gee, you know, maybe, just maybe, this much of a chance. I'm lying. starting to think that he was not born here. President Obama, where he was born, Obama. his birth certificate. Who knows about Obama? His Obama. mother was a, a U.S. citizen, who born knows? in Kansas. You know, can I, so can was, I tell was, you was he a natural-born citizen? Who knows? Who knows? Let's. Who, who cares right now? now? As for today... This may have been the last straw for the press covering the election. Now, reporters and anchors all across the dial, 
many of whom contort themselves to try and appear balanced here. Well, they call Trump out, both for wasting their time. Again, he told everyone at 10 o'clock straight up he was going to come on and talk about and put to rest the birther issue, and it was anything but that. It took a half an hour to get to it. In fact, it was basically a Trump infomercial for the better part of that half hour. And what he did say and didn't say, for many people, this was the final straw. I want you to just take a look. I picked one clip here. This is CNN's Jake Tapper as an example of some of the reaction after. It's hard to imagine this as anything other than a, a political rickroll, the idea that uh, we were told this was going to be Donald Trump addressing something that his top campaign advisors, many people in the Republican National Committee, want him to address and clear up and then stop talking about, which is this lie that President Obama was not born in the United States, which has been discredited for more than half a decade now, but Donald Trump has been uh, trafficking in it as recently as this year. Uh, we were told he was going to do that, and instead they bring out a number of Medal of Honor recipients and military heroes uh, instead, and it was very clever on one level. Uh, on another level, uh, it does speak to um, the in integrity of the Trump campaign. They told us something was going to happen, and it's not happening. All right, I want to bring in our panel right now. You have Scott Vanderhoff. Scott, a former five-term Republican Rockland County executive and co-chairman of the Palisades Institute of Dominican College. Dominic Carter, a fellow Rocklander, political journalist and author. And Andrew Whitman, our senior political correspondent and uh, you know, Andrew, um, i, I got to be honest. When the, when the thing got announced he was going to do it, I said, you know, this is smart. It's going to put the thing to bed. It's another opportunity to look presidential as we get ready to get to um, uh, the actual debate here that's going to be coming up in a little over a week in Hofstra. This looks good. I saw more vitriol. It's not just the talking heads and everyone else. I saw it from the Congressional Black Caucus and everyone else. He conned everybody yet again. And he conned them... And it reminded everybody, Barack Obama was as American as everybody from the day he was born. He created this after he said he liked Obama when he was first elected, when he decided he made wanted to run for president. And he kept the thing going and going. Question his religion, question his legitimacy as a president, question whether or not he was even a citizen, all the things we said. And he tried in 20 seconds to blame someone else for something that he led and then to try and take credit for something that he caused. Uh, and I think it reminded a lot of people just how really skeevy the whole thing was and about how much, uh, you know, uh, of, you know uh, of a hustler he was in terms of, I, I got to tell you, every channel, people like we were conned into what we thought we were going to get today. Yeah, I mean, there are so many parts to this that are unsavory, both in terms of the way he performed today, but also it's the reminder of, of what he said, how divisive it was, how much it, he tried to undermine the president, and then just the fact that, that he spent the last six years or so undermining the president in this one way and then trying to dismiss it in 20 seconds. I mean, it's, it, it, it's a, a reminder to everybody of the process that he went through to get there, but then also how unseemly the entire thing was. And he didn't even handle it particularly well from a PR standpoint. This is not how you bury a story or, or turn a page on a story. This is as bad, if not uh, worse, than how Clinton has handled the email situation. Just, just have you, you got to answer the bell if you're going to, you know, if you're going to respond to it, respond to it. You know, Dom. Um Obviously, we, we've talked over the years. There, there was always a racial component to this in terms of delegit. But I got to tell you, when people were watching this, first off, if you tuned to 10 o'clock here and everyone humped it that, you know, every 24 hour took it, and he starts off with an infomercial about his hotel, when this was about finally acknowledging that the president was a real American, and then to slap it like he did in 20 seconds, the anger I saw from African American officials, and they weren't manufacturing it for TV, you can tell when they do it and when they don't, you know, I'm talking about politicos where they pretend they're outraged, but they're like, all of a sudden, it didn't matter if they loved or were lukewarm in Obama. Obama was a, the first black president, and what he did for the better part of his presidency, making it sound like he wasn't really legitimate, it all came back. I, I got to tell you, I saw people livid by what they heard this morning from the Donald. A couple of quick points. Number one, it's the Congressional Black Caucus weekend in D.C. That's why a lot of officials uh, happen to be there. 
So black talking Donald Trump, I'm being sarcastic, who's been saying, black people, I love you. Your community is so bad. Give me a chance and embrace. He could have went to the Congressional Black Caucus and made a real case, but he chose to completely ignore uh, African-American elected officials. You have to understand, Richard, there is a, a, a sentiment in this country when you're an African-American or, as of late, a Mexican-American, you know, it just doesn't sit right with show me your papers. Show me your paper. Yeah, you say you're the president. You're not legitimate until I say you're the president. Who are you? Who made you the king of all kings? This man, meaning how dare president, you in twenty seconds say never mind. Well, see, I, I don't blame him for for uh, the, the news media is stupid. It, 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 he, it, how many times is he gonna play three card Monty with you? No, I tell you why. And, and I tell you why producer, I disagree with you on this. No, Dominic, no, okay. But how about this? If you spend five years delegitimizing a human being, saying that they're not, we played only a fraction of the clips. Mm -hmm. Andrew could have gone hours with all the things that he had said, mm -hmm. and you don't say sorry. Now, there's a difference with say, what did he do? We, he, we didn't, he didn't just say Obama was, was we know yes, he he's said. American we know he born. Said. He said Hillary started complete lie. No, and that's, he, not, that's not oh, a complete lie. It is a complete lie. It is lie. not a complete yes, lie. Yes, it is, because they went through it all. Richard, Here's it what is happened. not a complete a lie. A supporter of Hillary. A staffer. A staffer. That was a that, that the campaign fired right. after they leaked it. So, so how's that the same thing as Hillary, Hillary did didn't know. I didn't say Hillary did it. It's connected to a small degree to Hillary Clinton. They can't walk away from that. That part is true. But the only point I was trying to make, go go, go back go back and check it. They fired a staffer, uh, 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 Clinton's campaign manager called up. So we think uh, that's comparable to him, the candidate? For five years going no, out and saying No, 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 no. All I'm saying is we're in the business of facts. And the fact is her campaign to a small level was involved. And that staffer was immediately terminated by the campaign manager. What Trump did is disgusting. He's gotten away with everything. He got away with the McCain comment. There was a political benefit. He got away with going after the, the family of the slain soldier. He's gotten away with the Mexican stuff. But this time, he may have awakened a sleeping giant because the black vote wasn't feeling Hillary. That's, that's been the, the secret throughout this campaign. Black people were like, eh, you're not Obama. We're not feeling you. Now, they have a reason to go out and vote. And I know that Trump did this, and I don't mean to monopolize the time. Trump did this to try and put this to bed before the debate. All he did was open up a big can of worms. And you know, Scott, that's it. Because I got to say, for the last few weeks, Kellyanne Conway uh, has earned her paycheck and then some. She's actually kept him to a degree on message. Um, I don't think any of the policies he's talked about, people really have either listened to or if they do the math, think they add up. But why let facts get in the way of a good story? I thought today was the first time I was going to hear him say sorry, which the American public loves second acts, okay? We are forgiving people here. They already, not that they needed to forgive him, but people would have reconsidered him if he seemed, not just presidential, but he seemed that he had a scintilla of humility. What he did today was political malpractice. Mm. How did he think that would work? Mm. You tick up every media around, because for a half an hour, you make them take you live for stuff that's an infomercial for you, which you lied about the premise. And then when you do it, you blame, you know, in effect, the other guy, and you make it sound like because you decide to deign Obama as an American, he should basically call you and say, thank you, Donald. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're right. Uh, there's another side of this. I'll tell you my in initial reaction. He was so definitive about this that Obama was born here. I'm wondering whether Obama was born here now. <laughs> That's how I trust this candidate. I mean, now we ought to really question. The, I mean, he was definitive today. Um, look, look, he's played everybody to the hilt. He's played the press. He did it very well today. Mm -hmm. he, you know, this whole idea of the health thing going before the Dr. Oz and, and presenting his health, all real reality TV people said, oh, there, there it is. Must be true. It's Dr. Oz. <laughs> and, and, and the fact that they had to probably had him tied up when she fell and stumbled and he, she, he wasn't allowed to say, I told you so. <laughs> he, I can see him in the back getting red. He was brought out after, after shooting the, with sedatives every time he goes near the, the cell phone. See, you can yeah. see, he said, I gotta say, I told you so. No, sit down, you'll do well. He actually took a turn for the better, yeah. you know, but he was, he, they, they, jail, they had him in jail. Now today, 
he was told, you go out there and settle this issue. He said, but I got a hotel. <laughs> okay, well, you do your way, just settle the issue. And that's exactly what he did. In the last two minutes, he said, yeah, I guess I lied. <laughs> by, by the way, I, I know we're out of time, but does anybody actually think that Donald Trump really believes that Barack Obama was born in the United States, or do you think he was just saying it? And if so, what changed his mind? Because for years he was talking about, I sent investigators to Hawaii, and I'm hearing all these rumors See, I and reports. What actually changed guess, his mind? You know as much as I do on this? I think he never thought at any point that Obama wasn't born in America. I think he said, okay, what can I get free press where everyone will cover me? Well, you know what? He looks different and he's got a funny name. Hawaii. It's not really America to Trump, right? He wasn't born here. Somebody had a conspiracy theory. He saw it on his buddy owns the Inquirer or whatever else. So then he pushes it. And he realizes everyone's going to talk to him, even if they think he's crazy. He keeps getting free press. So he'll just say whatever he needs to say to get elected? And, I thought and, that was Hillary Clinton. And, I thought that was the rap on Hillary. And you know what? For the last 14 months, he's done it. And here we are. Okay, coming up next, speaking of where we are, the presidential race by the numbers. We're going to take a deep dive into a major poll and also talk state of the race with one of the men who created it. Stay with us, everybody. We'll be right back.